Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off and, well, next turn, not much else to do on this one. I'll finish the worker in my capital and then get another settler. But before I go for the island, I'll probably settle one more city in this area. Unless Arabia does it first. Other than that, yeah, well, we're just going to wait for the settler. Let's see, and keep exploring. We can explore to the west. We still have to make contact with one more civilization. I wonder who that is. Someone militaristic, probably. Because he has the biggest military score. Plus one population, nice. Let's have a look. Can we work something better than the copper? Probably not, unless I buy a tile. Two turns for the border to grow, there's no need to buy anything. It's a shame I won't have enough gold to just buy a settler, because that would be much faster. I can still sell the iron. Let's see, that's going to be 135 gold. But that's still not enough. A settler would cost like 600 something. Yeah, 680. Maybe the one after that, I could see that happening. To settle the island. I still want that natural wonder. So, there's masonry. And what do we want next? I think we should work on construction, just in case. I don't need optics just yet. And we need the wheel to build roads anyway. So, yep, we'll get the wheel at least. And then we'll see. So, finish the wheel. Two more turns to finish the worker. I don't need that second worker. I could send a unit southeast, just to keep an eye on that area. Probably not a bad idea. And let's keep exploring. I hope we can find the last AI, because I'm quite curious who that is, and I want to keep an eye on them. Has to be somewhere in this direction. Alright, there's the worker. I think we'll just start some farms. I can't chop the jungle just yet. Actually, no, I can. Right, let's improve the spices then. Alright, and we'll start the settler. How fast can we recruit a settler? Let's have a look. I don't think I can do it faster than this, actually. 13 turns. Okay, 12 turns. At the cost of 2 gold per turn and 1 culture per turn. We could maybe do it even faster. No, 12 turns is the best we can do. Alright, that's fine. Works for me. Unless we want to do it like this. That's actually better. Because there's no need to get food while we're working on the settler. We can get some gold instead. Alright, 12 turns. I hope no one is going to beat me to it. Yes, I'm sure Enrico is a threat to stability. Alright, well, let's send the archer this way. Arabia is pretty damn close. They definitely won't like me starting that city. Germany wants gold. I might actually accept this because that will give me a significant boost to relations with Germany. And 63 gold is not a big deal. We can accept that. So now we'll have a bonus. Alright, let's keep exploring. Start the plantation. If I sell some spices, I should be able to afford the next settler just to buy him, instead of waiting for production. So where the heck is the last sieve? Also, might want to get rid of that barbarian camp. We do have a city-state quest for it, and we could get a worker out of it. So, landed elite? Yep, landed elite. That extra culture was actually quite nice. I'm going to get the tradition finisher much earlier than usual. Alright, so I think we should improve that copper, however, we can't embark just yet. So it will have to wait. Meanwhile, we'll kill these guys. I could use one more unit there, because Arabia might steal it after I kill the archer. But by the time the spearman gets here, it will be a little bit too late, I think. So there's no point moving him, I don't think so. Pasture. 
and research. So, construction or philosophy? We're not quite ready for philosophy just yet. So I think we have the time to get construction. Do we need trapping? Not really, at least not right now. Alright, let's get construction to get a composite moment. I don't think anyone is going to attack me. Bismarck declared war on Venice. Alright. If anyone is going to attack me, it's going to be Arabia. But probably after I start this city. They definitely won't like that city. Are they upset about our expansion yet? No, they are not. But they will be. Yes, they will be. Alright, next. There are quite a few nice city locations, but I won't be able to settle all of them. Alright, and we got a promotion. Barrage. Okay, I don't see any Arabian units, that's good. We can hopefully grab the worker. And five more turns to finish our settler. This is actually going to be a really good city. But I'm a little bit worried about it being slightly too close to Arabia. But it's definitely worth settling, that's for sure. It's going to be one of my best cities. I could return the worker to Arabia. That's not a terrible idea, because that will give us a diplomatic boost. As much as I would like that worker, because it would save me production time, I think it's a good idea to return him. Staying friendly with Arabia for now is definitely a good plan. We can always attack them later. Yeah, let's return him, that will give us a boost. So now they shouldn't be upset as much. Where is that galley coming from? There has to be a barbarian camp somewhere. There might be a barbarian camp on that island, assuming that's actually an island. Right, Venice is at war with Germany and we are allied with Germany, so decline. The settler is almost done. So where the heck is the last team? Might be somewhere around here. That's what I'm thinking. Three more turns. Come on, before Arabia decides to settle that. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't settle it yet. But hey, that's good for us. Well, I'm not seeing any settlers right now, that's good. Are you guys done? No. And once we finish construction, we should probably go for optics. Once I sell some spices, I'll have enough gold to just buy a settler. So that's probably what we're going to do, just buy the settler. Alright, one more turn. So which exact tile do we want that city on? Probably the desert hill. Between the marble and the sheep. That seems like the best location. Well, looks like the city will be ours. I don't see any settlers heading in that direction. And we need a library by now. Also change tile assignments. Let's see, grab that culture and food. Two more dudes. Well, stone. We could work the mine or the sugar. That's not a terrible idea. The city will still grow. That was such a tough decision with that worker because I could have used a third worker right now, but... Getting better diplomatic relations with Arabia was better, I think. Won't have to worry about them attacking me yet, at least. Because I'm pretty sure they would dislike this settle. It's pretty close to their capital. But this location is just too good to ignore. It's so good. This is easily going to be one of my best cities here. In hindsight, I should have settled it earlier, probably. But we'll still get it, so it ended up not mattering. Oh, Germany captured Venice already. Well, that was quick. So, Rip Enrico. He's still in the game, but he's not. He's been reduced to a glorified city-state. Because that's what Venice is after they lose their capital. They can't ever annex a city. Even if they lose their capital. So, yeah, this location, because we'll grab the iron to the east. And that's six iron. Yep, and I don't want this city to be coastal, that's for sure. We'll miss out on the horses to the west, but I already got horses. 
and my border will expand there sooner or later anyway. And that's six iron. That's definitely the best location. So it's ours, nice. Alright, let's explore this way. Still hoping to find that last sieve. Let's settle that city already. There we go. Puerto Cambello. We will work the oasis and start the library. I could buy the library, but then I'll have to wait a little bit longer for the settler. It might be worth doing. How long do we have to wait? We'll finish construction here. I think it's time to get philosophy. 22 turns to get philosophy. It will be a little bit faster. Yeah, I think it will be better to just buy a library in this city. We can build something else instead, like the shrine. Yep, sounds good to me. The worker will have to wait. I don't think anyone will settle that island. Wait. I think there's a city here already. Yeah, there is. That kind of sucks. There's still space. But I might have to give that up. Alright. I guess we should work the bananas now. We got the library, so granary. Yep, we need a granary. Especially when there are tiles that will benefit from it. So this might end up being the last city we will settle for now. Also, Nassau really needs a few improvements. It's not going to grow very well otherwise. Also, I need the bananas. But can't afford to spell gold for tiles right now. Is that plantation done yet? A few more turns to finish it. Let's explore a bit more in this direction, because why not? So hold on, is this the sieve we didn't make contact with yet? This looks like Ethiopia. There's still a ruin over there, it's probably gone by now. But this looks like the sieve we've not made contact with yet. And it looks like Ethiopia. The creation of friendship with Germany. Yep. He accepted. And we can sell the horses. I won't be needing the horses just yet. Oh, he won't accept, really? Oh, he doesn't want horses at all. Right. We can sell them to Byzantium. Okay, 135. There we go, that's better. And that's that. Where can we go with that scout? Well, I think we should go back. He'll need the ability to embark. So I need to go back to one of my cities. Not much to see in this direction. Alright. Six population. I guess we'll work the mine for now. Extra production is always useful. And I'll need to get some units. And the caravan. I think caravan first will be more important. We could get a cargo ship, but I don't think that's quite safe right now. And we can get science from Byzantium by getting a caravan. The barbarian galleys are coming from somewhere. And they would probably pillage the cargo ship. So let's maybe not do that. No open borders for you, no. We are in negative happiness. But we should be fixing that pretty soon. Or right about now, in fact. Yep, the plantation is done. There we go. Alright, and we'll send that worker to Nassau. We need a few improvements over there. Not much to see here, but I'll still explore that. We also need roads between our cities, but that will have to wait. I'd rather improve the luxuries first. So, did Arabia hate that city or not? Yeah, they desire our lands. Which is why I wanted that modifier for freeing their captured citizen. But I need some defenses regardless, you know, just in case they do attack me after all. It's less likely with that positive modifier, but it might still happen, especially if I won't have any defenses. Our army consists of an archer right now and a spearman. So that's not a very impressive army. 
All right, let's go back with that scout. Plus some population. Let's see. I suppose we'll work the spices. Yep. Sounds good to me. Still need the copper, but that will have to wait for optics. This is a pretty solid start. We'll have some decent production. Puerto Cabello is going to be the primary production city from the looks of it. It does have the highest production potential. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be our main production city. Just need to defend it. Oh hey, we got a religion. Let's see if it's any good. Already had it in Nassau, I suppose. Is it actually any good? Use faith to purchase cathedrals. Not bad. And pagodas. And they have Jesuit education. This is like the perfect religion. We got cathedrals, pagodas, and we can purchase scientific buildings. That's amazing. I think we'll go for pagodas first because that's some happiness. And we will need happiness. Yep. Hopefully we'll be able to keep that religion. Because we have several neighbors with piety who love their religions. They might end up spreading theirs. Alright, so improve the spices. And we can explore some of these styles on the way. And go back to Puerto Cabello. So, eight turns to finish the caravan. I could buy that settler right now, but I still can't embark. There is a city on that island. I need to explore that island to see if it's actually worth sending a settler in the first place. We'll probably do that with the scout. He can get back in time. Yeah, he can. I'll have to upset Hanoi a bit, but that doesn't matter. What is the city specialized in anyway? Conquistador. Alright. That's not an amazing unit. Let's see, what can we work here? Well, I would have to spend some gold, or we can work the marble. That's still decent enough. No open borders for you. Seven turns to finish philosophy, and seven turns to finish the caravan. Good timing. We'll need that library, but that's fine, that's why I'm saving the gold. Fourteen turns to finish this one. Can we speed this up? That would be nice. I don't think we can. No. Well, we sort of can. Seven turns. The city will stagnate, but I need that library up ASAP. Yes, I do. So we'll do it like this. Yep. I want to get started on the National College ASAP. The creation of friendship with Byzantium. I think I'll accept that. We will have very good relations with Byzantium because we adopted their religion and now we got a boss because they were friendly with Germany. So now, if only I could get them to fight Arabia or something like that. The only problem is that Byzantium is usually not that strong, although I had at least one data game where Byzantium was the strongest sieve. You might even remember that one. But they usually aren't. It was more of an anomaly than anything else. So now we'll just have to work on our city development. I'm still a little bit unsure about that island, but we'll wait for sailing and we'll check it out. If it's really good and if this city is far enough, I'll settle it. Because I still wouldn't mind that wonder. It's not the best wonder out there, but it's decent. Only six turns to get optics once we're done with philosophy. Next. So there's the caravan. We'll send it to Constantinople, I guess. Not from this city, from Puerto Cabello. Off you go then. And now we just wait for sailing. As for our production, we don't really have much time. We got two turns. We can't get anything in two turns. We can just get two turns towards the next caravan. Or towards a unit. 
we'll need some units, so let's just get two turns towards a composite bombing and then we'll switch to National College. We will get to National College before turn 150. That's what I usually aim for on a big game pace. You will go to Concert Napo or to Mecha, doesn't really matter. We'll get more science from Concert Napo. So that works. Alright, one more turn because we have to finish the library. And we might as well buy this library already. So there we go. And now we can start the National College. We will get aristocracy in 11 turns. I would have preferred it earlier, but oh well. 29 turns. Yeah, this will definitely take a while. I might be able to speed it up a tiny little bit by getting a quarry quickly. This is probably the best we can do. Yeah, 29 turns. We can't do any better than this. I don't think so. Oh well, it will have to do. So, production. Another worker wouldn't hurt. Yeah, okay, let's grab another worker, even though it will take a while. More production, granary. Yep, this city definitely needs a granary. And I suppose we can move that guy to the bananas by now. Now that the library is done. Two turns. I have to stay inside my territory. With that scout. The plantation is almost done, so we'll be able to just sell the spices. We have quite a lot of spices. Zero happiness though. I might have to trade the spices for a luxury. Probably. Well, except they don't have any. Unless they are willing to sell one of these. Probably not. Can we actually buy a luxury? Yes. Does that city we settled have incense? I don't think it did. We can always trade on our turn. Silk. Yeah, we definitely don't have silk anywhere, so let's trade for that. Yeah, we did have incense. I'm glad I declined that trade then. That would have been a bad one. Alright, so let's go check out that island and we'll send our worker to improve the incense, I guess. We really need that third worker by now. Like, seriously. I don't want that quarry though, that might save us a turn or two on the National College. As for research, I guess we'll get some basics like trapping. Sounds good. The creation of friendship expired. We can extend it. We have super good relations with almost everyone. And that modifier is gone, Arabia doesn't desire our lands anymore. Nice. I don't think I have a single negative modifier with any CV in the game right now. Well, other than Venice. But I don't care about Venice. Venice is gone. They don't count in this game anymore. Yeah, we don't have a single negative modifier with anyone. That's pretty good. Might be worth trying to get them to fight each other already. Yeah, perhaps. But I'll still want to buy a settler. If I decide to settle this island, I will be buying the settler, not waiting to recruit him. I could upgrade the archer, but let's save our gold for now. We'll get more gold from spices. Germany and Russia are now friends. Yeah, the AIs are actually a little bit too friendly with each other right now. We need to get them to fight. So, there's the blast AI. That looks like Ethiopia. Yep, that's Ethiopia. Alright, embassy. So are they isolated? Because isolated Ethiopia is pretty dangerous because they tend to go super tall. They are kind of isolated. Do they have their own island slash continent? It kind of looks like they have their own continent. Alright. 23 tags. Okay, who is the leader right now anyway? 
23 tags, 22 tags, 22, 20. Yeah, Ethiopia is the tech leader right now. We have 15 tags right now. Ethiopia has 23. Ethiopia will be dangerous in this game. I don't like when they are isolated. It might be worth settling a city here, if only to have a city on their continent. Yeah, I'm thinking it's worth settling a city here. Even if it's not going to be amazing, just to have a city there. It will be easy to defend because that's a mountain. As for research, well, I guess it's time to get to medieval era. Which I could do through theology. Yeah, I suppose we can do that. Alright, next. The only thing I dislike about my start so far is relatively low production, other than in Puerto Cabello. It might be a bit of a problem in the long run. It's not that terrible, but we won't be beating any production records, that's for sure. Oh, did Ethiopia go Paiteto? Let's see. No, they went tradition and aesthetics. Damn it. Yeah, they are going to be dangerous. Especially with tradition. They tend to go super tall. How come he didn't settle this city? It's right next to his capital. How many cities does he have? He has five cities and he didn't settle the natural wonder? That's a little bit strange. But whatever flaws he's bought. So, Puerto Cabello, what do we need here? Another worker, I'm thinking. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.